Okay, terminal velocity, uh, this is going to be fun. A 10 gram particle of hail falls from the sky, so here's my hail. It's falling directly towards my car. We've got weight, uh, so force equals mass per acceleration, so here's mg acting down. But we all know that there's wind resistance going back up the other way, and uh, in this particular question, that's like the wind resistance. So the net force on this particle because force equals ma and force equals, so it's gonna be uh, mg is acting down. So let's just take that as the positive because that's the way it's heading. It's heading in a positive direction. And we're gonna take away from it 0 0.002 v squared. Now that mass is uh, 10 grams, so point Oh, one. There we go. Uh, and force equals mass per acceleration. So this force on the left hand side is 0.01 a. So let's just cut to the chase. A is going to be g because we're dividing by this 0.01. Uh, minus uh, 0.2 v squared. Okay. We also know that acceleration is uh, v dv dx. Let's get rid of this 0.2, which is 1 fifth. So let's go 1 fifth. Okay, let's get this to the other side. So that's going to be a V on. Let's leave the dV there. Let's get the dx over there. We know we're going to integrate. <coughs> uh, that's the log pattern, so I need something in front of that V. I'm desperate to get a 2 there, so if I add a 2 there, I'm going to have to put a 2 there. Not only that, it needs to be a negative because there's a negative in there. So that's a negative 2, that's a negative 2. We're going to integrate and we're going to go the natural log of uh, minus, let's just go 0.4x plus c. So, 49, that C is going to go down the front, we know that, don't we? Uh, what was our initial conditions? Let's just assume velocity is uh, zero, where X is zero, so when it just pops out of that cloud, it's sitting in the cloud, V is zero, so 49 equals C E to the zero, so C is 49. Let's just save a bit of space there because I'm going to run out. There we go. So let's get this V squared to the other side. So it's going to be 49 minus V equals uh, 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 1 minus A to the and if I square root, well, that's v squared, sorry. So let's just square root that. Square root 49. There we go, there's our velocity function. <coughs> uh, let's just think about when terminal velocity happens. Terminal velocity is gonna happen um, all the way down here. So let's just set x equal to infinity. So v equals 7. So v of infinity is 7. 1 minus e to the minus infinity. e to the minus infinity is 0. 
1 minus 0 is 1. What root 1 is 1? 7 times 1 is 7. So that piece of hail is going to get to 7 metres per second um, as the distance approaches infinity. OK. That was fun. Let's do it again. Let's just take it from this stage here again. Acceleration equals 9.8. Nine point eight minus uh, that would have been a better starting point. Yep, there we go. <coughs> okay, acceleration is also known as um, 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 dv dt. So this first way, we're getting a function that's dependent on distance, displacement. X is displacement. So when I set X equal to infinity, I'm saying the displacement is infinity. Here I'm going to order a function in time. And again, I can get terminal velocity by setting time approaches to infinity. Um, <coughs> Uh, one on okay this is looking really good isn't it integrate both sides I'm going to get rid of that denominator I'm going to get rid of that and replace it with And our friends, partial fractions come into play. We love partial fractions, don't we? Uh, I don't have room or the time to do partial fractions here, but we're going to get A. A is 1 on 14 and B is 1 on 14. So that turns into the log of plus... DV... Let's get rid of this 14. I'm going to make this 14 over there. And then they just go back to 1, which is exactly what we want, apart from this one where it's minus 1. So I'm going to have to put a minus there and a minus out the front. So when I integrate that, uh, this thing here, I'm going to do this first and go, that's the natural log of. And then I'm going to do this one here. Minus the natural log of equals. Uh, 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 that's 14 on 5t plus c. Again, I'm running out of room. Um, so let's do this. That will be the natural log of so seven plus v will equal e to the and we'll get rid of that c and put it at the front. Um why don't we go ahead and set um t equal to 0 and v equal to 0, we're going to get 7 on 7, which is 1, equals c e to the 0. So what's c? c is 1. So we can just make that disappear. Okay. Now, it will work if you take it from here. However, when we're playing with limits, if I set t equal to infinity there, I'm actually going to get infinity. Uh, I don't really want an infinity in my um, function. So I'm going to invert it by taking the negative, and then these two will be inverted. 
So actually, that's going to be the plus on the top, on the bottom. And it's going to be 7 minus V on the top. Uh, multiply through 7 minus V. Plus VE to the uh, 7 minus 7. And get that V to the other side. <clears throat> and that V is definitely going to be factored out. And that will be 1 plus. So we're going to get V equals 7 on 1 minus on 1 plus. Now, if you can see uh, T equals infinity, uh, that's negative infinity. So all of that goes to zero. All of that goes to zero. Uh, so that's what we're left with is seven times one on one, which is seven meters per second. Um, this function is a function of time. So this function is a function of time. The one previous was a function on displacement. Two ways, gotta love doing things two ways. Have fun with that, I quite like terminal.